so we've drawn our cartoon character and we're ready now to look at how we're going to animate it. Now an animation is just a sequence of images that moves rapidly one after the other and it's a bit of a trick of the eye, the brain interprets it as movement. So what we're going to be doing once um, we've designed a frame is we're just going to keep duplicating each slide and making small changes each time. So let's select all of our character and I'm just going to right click and group so I've got one uh, one object now which is the whole of my cartoon character and I'm going to move it to the corner of my screen and I'm just going to do an animation of him sort of moving across the screen or waving or something like that. Now let's say I want to resize this character um, because I've made it a whole group I can do that quite easily now I can just use this um, resizing control. Now here's a tip if I press the shift key it will maintain the proportions as I resize my character. If I didn't do that, I might end up making my character look really long or really wide and not maintain my proportions. So I'm going to undo. Now if I hold the shift key, as I resize, it will keep those um, proportions. So that's, that's much, much better. So let's make him a little bit smaller. And let's assume that's my starting point for my animation. I've got him um, in the corner of my screen. So I'm now just going to right click on this frame and I'm going to duplicate the slide. And so on my next slide I'm going to move the character very slightly. So for this I might just zoom in a bit so I've got a little bit uh, more detail to see. And I can click on my man to open the object and if I want to move any individual parts like the hand, I can just click inside and I can move those parts. So maybe I want to move and rotate the arm slightly and I've got the, the hand part there. So now if I click between the two I've got a little bit of animation there. So let's right click duplicate that again and again and again And again. Okay, so now if we just click on the first frame, we can use the down arrow and we can look through our animation frames and see how that looks. Okay, and it's a bit rough. Uh, perhaps I should bring that arm in a little bit there. But it's okay. You get the idea of what we're doing here. So really, creating an animation is just doing more of what I've shown you there. You just keep duplicating frames and make small differences and small movements between your frames. To make your animation a bit more interesting you're probably going to want to draw a couple of characters. You might also want to add some backgrounds. Now you could draw the backgrounds using the different drawing tools or given that we've got um, access to the internet here we could import some photography uh, to use as a background for quite a nice stylistic effect. So let's go back to our first frame. Let's zoom to fit and let's imagine we, we find a background image we like. So let's go to image, uh, let's search the web, and I've done some streets scenes. So let's look for um, a suitable location for our character. So uh, this one's quite fun. So let's click on that and insert it. And it'll add that image. So now I just need to resize it to fill my whole frame. And it might be helpful to crop the image so that it you've only got the bits that are going to fit in your slide. So zoom out again, click on the crop tool, and if you just drag in from the bottom to do some cropping, uh, you should see there's the outline of my frame. So I'm just going to go and crop. Oops, not move. I'm just going to move my cropping to match the edge of the frame. So that image is pretty much the size of my frame now. And now I can right click order send to back and now you can see I've got a sort of a location for my animation to take place on. Now that's only appearing on one frame so it might be that I want to now copy that and I, I'm going to need to paste it to each of my frames paste and send to back which is a bit of a pain if I've done a lot of frames by now so it might be that if you know you're going to want a certain scene or animation location for your animation if you do that early on, do that on the very first frame, then every time you um, 
then every time you duplicate your frame from there, it will have that background with it. Now that you've got a background, you could actually animate your background to give the impression that your character is moving as well. So instead of, if this character wasn't waving, but instead maybe the legs were walking and our background was suitably large, so let's make it a bit larger, we could actually move our background across a little bit with every frame and that would give the impression that the character is walking because relative to the character the background is moving. So that's how you can start building a simple animation just using uh, some shapes and backgrounds in Google Slides. For our next video I'm going to show you how you can export all of the different images for each slide so that you can then put them into some animation software to compile that into a finished animated video.